tray table stowed, seats uncomfortably upright, iPod confiscated, I think we're ready for takeoff. Hope nothing bad happens. Suddenly, the alarm sounds. The plane is going down, spiraling into the ocean. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In today's installment, we're sifting through the wreckage to count down the five most incredible facts about surviving a plane crash. Fly, you fools! <laughs> Number five, you probably won't die, unless everyone else does. First of all, the chances of you being killed in an airplane crash on a flight operated by one of the top 39 airlines is 1 in 19.8 million, according to planecrashinfo.com. And even if you wanted to save a few bucks and booked a flight on one of the 39 worst airlines, your odds are still only 1 in 2 million. So relax. Nervous? Yes. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. But what if it does crash? If the plane ditches, meaning it makes a controlled emergency landing on water, you've got a 53% chance of surviving. I like those odds. If, however, you're in a crash so bad that at least 10 people die, your odds are not great. You've got a roughly 24% chance of being one of the lucky few who survive. Don't! Number four, takeoff and landing are the most dangerous times. Drifting, keep your eyes on the far end of the runway. The majority of crashes happen during plus three minus eight. That's aviation talk for the first three minutes after takeoff and the last eight minutes before landing. Experts say that during those times, it's a good idea to stay awake, alert, and sober. All right now, everybody, get in crash position. Keep your shoes, preferably not high heels, on, and take a second to think through your action plan in case of a crash. Your nearest exit could be behind you. Count the rows to the exit so you know the fastest route out. Well, we got into the air great, and we're scheduled to land in nine minutes from now. So just... Oh, shit! Uh-oh. Number three. If it doesn't kill you, it might make you stronger. Okay, it looks like we're in a tight spot here, but don't worry. If you do survive this, you'll be stronger for it. According to a study presented by the American Psychological Association, those who survived a plane crash wind up being healthier psychologically compared to frequent flyers who have never been in a crash. I've got to get out of here! Calm down! Get a hold of yourself! Stewardess, please, let me handle this. I've got to get out of here! Those who reported feeling some measure of control during the accident, members of the flight crew, for example, were the best off. Doctor, you want another phone? <laughs> Everything's pretty old, It was a rather small study, mind you, but these findings do line up with other research that said shipwreck survivors experience strong positive changes in their outlook on life and more self-esteem. So, uh, look on the bright side. Ryan, whatever kills me makes me stronger. Number two, one kid survived two plane crashes. Everybody's belted in, are we going to get belted in with everybody in brace positions. Yes, that is a firm. We are in a dive. So as the plane is plummeting out of the sky, just try to remember Austin Hatch. In 2003, at eight years old, he survived a plane crash that tragically killed his mother and both siblings. Clear flight level 220. Now I'm on. A plane just crashed. And all of a sudden, big boom. A few years go by, Austin recovers, works his ass off on the basketball court, and in 2011, gets offered a scholarship to play ball at the University of Michigan. Ten days later, on the same route as the first time, his plane crashes once again, this time killing his father and stepmother. Now I'm on. Yeah, we just had an aircraft crash just north of the airfield. It should be on the street just north of the airfield. It leaves him in a coma for six weeks, and then wheelchair bound. The university acts super classy and lets him delay his scholarship until he recovers. And finally, in 2014, he made his college basketball debut. Bends the knees, and on its way, and it's good. And here you were, freaking out because this is your first crash. Number one, move your ass or you're toast. Hey, you made it to the ground. Well, you're not safe yet. Often when a plane crash lands, rather than people jumping out of their seats and rushing towards the exits, they sit there like sheeple, waiting for permission to save their own lives. The problem with waiting is, one, flight attendants are often rendered incapacitated by the crash, and two, fire can spread quickly. Experts say that it takes about 90 seconds for fire to burn through the fuselage. Another possible fire hazard is the portable electronic equipment brought into the cabin by passengers. Nevertheless, survivors often insanely take time to grab their carry-on luggage out of the overhead bins before fleeing the plane. 
I know I'd be out of there in nothing flat. Those giant emergency slides always look like wicked fun. Okay, all right, have a nice day. So what do you think of these facts? Have you ever dreamed of emergency landing a plane? Ed, that was probably the lousiest landing in the history of this airport. For more Survive Anything Top 10s and Crash in the First 3 Minute Top 5s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Hey, you got a little spot there. Hmm? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh,